Oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna get right down to it. So I went to Cedar Point for this weekend. Um, it was super awesome. I'm making a whole Cedar Point video just because I had such a fantastic trip on so many different levels from the hotel to the guest experience, to the food, to the atmosphere, um, talking to Tony Clark and all that. It was such an awesome trip. Coaster Kids was there. That was super cool as well. Um, but this coaster, we rode it five times while we were there and it was absolutely insane. Um, I rode it in the front. I rode it in the back the most. I love the back on this coaster. It hurts, but I love it. I rode it in the middle. I rode it everywhere. So um, I got two rides in the back, one ride in the middle, one ride in the front, and then I got a ride somewhere else on the train that I can't really remember. Maybe the back, maybe it was three times the back. It's hard to remember. It's just such a fantastic ride. We were super lucky on top of that. We waited like an hour and 10 minutes max on one of the lineups. Typically we were waiting 30 minutes to 45 minutes to get on this coaster. It was such a great weekend to go. The ride ops were killing it. Um, so here is a test seat. I'm gonna make a separate video. I'm explaining, you know, the, the seat on this coaster and you know, the limitations on this coaster. We saw a lot of people getting turned away. I'm a pretty bigger guy myself, um, and I'm going to explain how to get in that seat um, because we saw a lot of people that maybe could have gone in that seat if they were sitting in it in a certain way, um, and I really wanted to get that message out because you can get on this coaster if you follow um, some simple um, procedures when sitting in that seat. So I'm going to tell you how to use that test seat to your advantage to make sure you can fit on that ride if you weren't able to get on it. Don't. Um, hesitate to give it a second try with the advice I'm going to give you in a separate video. But this coaster is not only, um, <laughs> I'm losing my words. Um, okay. So the drop is not the best part. Everyone is right. Everyone that's saying the drop is not the best part is right. It isn't. Um, so the drop's amazing, but it's not the best part. That is one of my favorite elements right there. I was like, I was like, wow. Um, take into account, I have not been on an RMC before. This was my first RMC and I went big. Um, <laughs> but let me tell you, after the mid-course break run, <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. You think you know the layout, but you don't. You don't know the layout as soon as this thing enters the structure of this coaster. Um, that dive, that trick track dive into the um, structure, the very like like where it gets really deep is insane. Like my mind was like, oh my God. Um, and the airtime hills are such, like they're ejector airtime hills. My, like my legs are bruised in a good way again. It's, um, it's a phenomenal ride. I am blown away. Um, <laughs> the, the crew was getting, like there was like a line, a, a decent line, and the crew was getting trains out in like 30 to 40 seconds. 30 to 40 seconds, the crew was getting trains out. They had one train and we waited 30 to 45 minutes to get on it. I was blown away. And not only that, the guest experience, these people were giving Disney level guest experience. I was blown away. I knew people's names that worked at this park by the end of my trip, not just Steel Vengeance, everywhere. I knew people's names, people talked to us, people talked to us about our channel. We met people, like we had great conversations. People made jokes with us. It was so great. Again, I'm gonna make a separate video on that. I am blown away by everything Cedar Point is offering this year. I am going back, I cannot wait. You have to get on this coaster. It is one of the best coasters in the world. It is one of the best. I'm not gonna say it is the best because that is up to you to decide if it is your best coaster for your current coaster lineup. Um, but it is one of the best coasters in the world. You really have to come ride it. If you do think this coaster isn't that great or overrated, give it a try. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Share this video too. Again, I will be releasing a video on how to get in that test seat if you struggled in the first two weeks. Stay tuned for that. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great one.